As I come into the ball and approach it, I'm thinking about dropping that elbow, rotating that upper body towards the back wall, towards the back corner. So if somebody was in front of me on the tee, they'd be able to see the back of my shirt before releasing through the ball. So I'm taking that racket up early, starting the swing, and then releasing. Great way to practice this would be a game where you played one player is allowed to hit into the yellow and the green and the other player has to hit purely above the service line. So you're practicing that defensive length, that use of height with your length. One of the things which uh, very simple tips I'll often give between games to players is make two balls hit the back wall in a row. It's something which has been said to me over the years as well. I find very, very useful, simple kind of tip to ensure depth. So you know, just that simple model of going, make the ball hit the glass, make it land long, and mentally commit to that for that first part of the rally. Body weight is a big part of my bowling technique and the way I coach as well. So uh, again, I'm a big believer, whether I'm hitting off whichever foot, right foot, left foot, but my body weight stepping into the shot both sides, so I like to step in. I don't want to be hitting a shot where I'm flat footed and leaning back, or I'm hitting a shot where I'm, I'm not moving my feet. Nice and simple back. The racket's still on this side of my body, it's not coming around here. It's a mixture between open face, laid out, but the wrists up a little bit, and what that does is that feels comfortable to me. That feels comfortable. So now if I swing, it's gonna go through. I can then get that to go straight, 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 all the way through because it started from a nice position. And that's my biggest thing. Don't think on the forehand too much about rotation. I don't think about much else than setting up like this, and then when I turn, I then get it through.